What is going on guys, it's Bear, and today I'm bringing you guys a tutorial on making a trippy animation in After Effects. So pretty much what a trippy animation is, I did this in my trip intro, just for a little fun thing to do. And uh, it's the background, it's all like, kind of, uh, I don't know how to say, like celly, all trippy and stuff. Really easy to do, it's actually a plugin. So before I start, I'll show you guys another example that I made just really quick to show you guys. And uh, it's really easy to do again, and it's not going to take long at all. So before I start, you guys are going to need a plugin called Sapphire, and uh, it's spelled S-A-P-P-H-I-R-E, not like actual Sapphire. But uh, I'll leave a link in the description on how to get this. If I don't leave a link in the description, let me know in the comments, and I'll be sure to get that out for you guys. So basically, what you do is you pretty much install Sapphire, and you install like everything. And it uh, comes with all these textures, uh, lighting, render, transitions, blur, uh, everything. But uh, yeah, so what you're gonna do is just make a new composition in After Effects, and then go to Layer, New, and Solid. And sorry about that, my dad walked to my room, I had to talk to him. But uh, pretty much what you're gonna do is make that new solid, uh, just 1280 by 720, your whole entire thing, obviously. And uh, you're gonna go into your plugins or your effects slash or effects and presets and type in s underscore texture flux and uh, this is going to be the sapphire texture so when you put it in it's basically kind of a cell composite and uh or a mosaic whatever you guys want to put it that way oh, excuse me it's burp but uh what we're gonna do first is go go to your colors and there's two colors uh they indicate the like certain ones it's like a uh, background and then it's an actual color so what i do for the first one is i put it to kind of a scion color or like a mint green and then put the second one to about another kind of blue that matches this and then you're going up to your frequency and then you're just going to pull it in a lot so it's like this and then put your octaves up so about six you guys can bring it up i think the highest it goes is 10. and they can change your frequency rel x which brings it closer, farther away, so this would make it more kind of oily. And then you can change your bubble amount and your seed, but I leave my seed the same because I'm changing everything else, and the bubble amount is basically how kind of you want it, so it can be either really, it's like really oily or really paisley, I don't know how you guys want to explain that, or it can be like a cloud, so pretty much full range and doing whatever you want. And then you can put smooth, so it's smooth as that smooth, so it goes back to the cloud, or you goes to that, so you guys can uh, get the idea. All right, and then you can go down uh, down the row, morph morph seed, and this changes everything. You can leave that the same. Morph X doesn't really do anything either, and then brightness filter offset. So offset just changes the colors like that. Brightness doesn't do anything, and then brightness up here doesn't really do anything except for enhance the background. So now that you have that, you can go back up to your frequency and then bring it in and then just go across your timeline to see how it looks. And then if you guys like like that, you can leave it. You guys can go back to the bubble amount and uh, make it more kind of oily. Like this. And then it just it automatically makes it the way. It makes it a video animation. So you pretty much just mess around with uh, these effects and it's really all up to you guys on how you guys want it to end up being. It's really fun to mess around with and uh, create other stuff. So uh, now that you have that, you guys can start adding other stuff. This is what I do. I'll make a new adjustment layer and then go to your presets and type in CC Lens, which is a distortion thing. And then just bring the size up to about like 3, 200, like yeah, probably 200. And it just kind of brings out the sides just to make it a cool little animation and then you're gonna go to layer new adjustment and you guys are gonna need magical looks for this most people have it if you guys don't you don't have to do this it's just a cool color correction so you just add that oh my god my phone dude it's blowing up drop that all right so what we're gonna do is go to your camera actually excuse me go to lens and put edge, so edge softness and it's bring it so the right side touches the middle right side you guys can put a vignette on and then bring it up 
And then uh, you can leave the other stuff. You can put a uh, chromatic aberration and then bring up the blue, which just kind of glitches it out. So you guys can go to matte next, and you guys can add filters. So you guys can go to 85 filter, and if you guys can see, it changes pretty much everything. So and you just go like that. You can take it off, check it out again. But I'm just gonna leave that the same because there's all this other stuff you guys can add. Uh, pretty much everything, and then go to subject and go to pop. And then just take that. Yeah, take, I'm just gonna take that color filter off and just bring the pop up and then hit finish. All right, so now that you have that, it's just the animation now. And uh, this is pretty much endless on what you guys can do. Let's just say you guys wanna add, uh, let's just say text. So let's just say you wanna have it uh, test. I put a period too, oh well. All right, so you have your just your simple text. Put that back to white, and uh, you guys can start it here, and then hit S on your keyboard, scale it, and then put it back down to the ten, and then just oops, click in the top right corner, hold Shift to make it smaller, and put it back in the middle, and then it should keyframe itself, so it just gets smaller. But you guys can do obviously get the idea. But this is pretty much just like trippy animation. And uh, if you guys have any kind of questions or comments about this, please let me know. And uh, I'll just render it out. Well, I'll render preview it for you guys. And this is pretty much what it is. Uh, nothing too special. It just looks really cool and intros and stuff. If you guys want me to do a trippy intro tutorial, let me know in the comments. Also, like this video because it really gives me motivation to make more videos. So, uh... Yeah, this is about it. Uh, if you guys want more After Effects tutorials, please check out my friend Uni. He's actually in the description and in my sub box. He's more of the After Effects and editing type of person. I'm the more of designing. But yeah, hope you guys really enjoyed this. Just make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.